Patrick's Day, it isn't just about one day anymore. It's a weekend. Some celebrate for weeks. And we have a place that if you're lucky enough, you should definitely check out Cavanaugh's. There's history there. There's celebration there. And so joining me now, Cavanaugh's owner, Patrick Pavlicek, right here. General Manager Mike Anderson. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Right before we started the segment, you yeah. were giving me history. Like, you're yeah. Kavanaugh's history. Yeah, my grandfather was uh, Patrick Kavanaugh, and he came to the country in 1929. First job was actually painting the Ben Franklin Bridge. Wow. Uh, pro Prohibition ended in uh, 1933. He opened up the first Kavanaugh's at 32nd and Market. And we stayed up there until 1988. We moved up to Penn's campus. And that was, we branched off now to uh, Sampson Street, which is 1921 Sampson. And then we have uh, uh, 421 South 2nd Street. And then seasonally, we have the river neck down on the uh, Delaware River. So if we're talking about and celebrating, I love the history. I appreciate the information. Sure. We're talking about celebrating St. Patrick's Day yeah. also. You guys have been doing this for a minute. Yeah. The, uh, we have a pub crawl, Aaron Express, and I believe I remember. I remember I was the kid that was selling the gloves in the in the in the swag. I was like ten years old, so it's it's been going on for a couple a couple years now. Awesome. A couple years. Awesome. Mike's general manager, yes, Kavanaugh's. Why did you guys decide to kind of do the full on celebration? You got the food, you got the drinks. Why? So you hear like the story there. His grandfather came from Ireland, right? We are the name Kavanaugh's Sports Bars now. It's an Irish theme. So we have the traditional favorites, like your corned beef and cabbage, okay. right? We have a shepherd's pie, you know, uh, fish and chips, classic. We made, we put a little spin on things. We did a Reuben spring roll, kind of okay. updated a little bit. And then, of course, our classic Kavanaugh's award-winning wings. Now, you know. the award-winning wings, we were joking during the break that you sold a yeah. ton of them. Yeah. Literally 2,000 pounds. You literally, literally sold them. Yeah, literally 2,000 pounds for Super Bowl week. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a good week to be a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so important that you have, you've got great food all the time, sure. right. but particularly during St. Patrick's Day, there's kind of the authenticity of it. A little bit of it is the tradition of a lot of families go back to the, like last Sunday was the parade, and we had families bringing parents, grandparents, kids, and all that stuff, and they're coming out to try to keep the tradition alive of the parade. And so it's it's the it's the comfort food of back home, you know. It's it's yeah. you know and, and it, 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 you know there's also like the bangers and mash and stuff, but um, it, it gives you that sense of you know tradition for your for your Irish heritage. When people are coming out celebrating, mm -hmm. enjoying, they really appreciate kind of the food selection, the authenticity, sure. and the, the various drinks you guys come up with also. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So what what I brought today is we did a. Jameson Black Barrel Old Fashioned over okay. here. Um, I'm a so it's just, of that. Like, <laughs> listen, it's just a traditional it's, it's, it's old fashioned. morning. But it is a little early for me, <laughs> for right. some people. Okay. Um, but it's but five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> right? for, the, for the morning drinker, uh, we did a, a classic Irish coffee. Okay. With uh, Irish whiskey, you know, coffee. Right. Yeah, and then I brought something a little different a today. Uh, we have the Guinness, which is the non alcoholic Guinness. So, so it's that's relatively newer. Noon. But so yeah. non-alcoholic yeah, Guinness. Yeah, you have to have that before noon. All right. Yeah. And you would never notice the difference. That really tastes just <laughs> like yeah. Guinness. Yeah, so yeah, we have a little something for everybody. Back you know? in the day, I was a Guinness guy. Yeah. Okay. So I like this. So what do you say to everybody who's looking for some fun things to do? They, they can just show up, right? Participate. Yeah, well, you don't sure. need reservations. Well, and on top of everything else, this weekend we have March Madness. Oh. Thursday and Friday, starting, you know, at noon. Yeah. Uh, it already started. Uh, it yeah. already started. Yeah, already started. Yeah. But yes, the... Uh, the games will be on. There's 30 plus TVs in each location. Uh, you know, be able to get sound for you if you want to listen to a particular game and so forth. And uh, it's 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 a fun way to spend a weekend. So yes. come on out. I'm gonna take this one. Pick, sure. pick yours. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> right. Cheers, gentlemen. Slancha. Appreciate Cheers, you slancha. coming in. Slancha. Yeah, that's Irish. Uh, that's an Irish toast. Yeah, cheers. Slancha.